This quick start guide will show you how to get started with the screen casting features of Active Presenter. Active Presenter was developed by Atomi Systems and can be downloaded from this page. First activate the application that you want to record, in this case Adobe Premiere Pro. Then start Active Presenter and go to record video from the startup page. Lock the screen to the application you want to record. Webcam and audio recording are optional but were turned off for this tutorial. Click the red button to start recording. The pause key can be used to pause and resume recording. Control end will stop the recording. Once the recording is finished, the resulting video will appear as a slide on the timeline where it can be edited. To cut a section from the video, position the playhead to the start of the section, drag the yellow square on the right of the playhead to the end of the section and select Cut Range. To zoom into an area of the captured video, position the playhead where the zoom should start. Go to Annotation in the top menu bar and select Zoom and Pan. The zoom object is added on a track in the timeline. Select the zoom area by dragging and sizing the square frame in the central window. Drag the green diamond of the zoom object on the timeline to shorten the zoom opening time. Move the play to the position where the zoom should pan back to normal. Insert another zoom and pan object and change its duration. Click on the first zoom object and note the properties on the right. Change the zoom scale of the second zoom object to 100. Let's see how it looks in your recorded video. Annotations are information pop-ups that can be added to the recorded video. Position the playhead where the annotation must appear. Click on Annotation in the top menu bar and select Shapes. A square callout is selected. Position the callout in the central window. Press F2 to enter text inside the callout. Adjust the size of the callout and drag the arrow point to its position. Drag the annotation object on the timeline to change its duration. Animations can be added to the annotations. Go to Animations in the top menu bar and select an Entrance Effect and Effect option. Do the same for the Exit Effect of the annotation. This is what it looks like in the recorded video. Any frame of the recorded video can be freezed to allow the viewer more time to view. Position the playhead where the time freeze should occur. 
Click on Insert Time and set the duration. The duration can also be adjusted by dragging the yellow object on the timeline. To split the video recording, click on this icon. The video will be split at the position of the playhead. This section can be removed by clicking on it and then press delete. The gap can be filled by dragging the next section closer. To insert a title slide, go to Home in the top menu bar and select Insert Slide. The selected slide appears in the left panel and a new timeline is associated with the slide. To merge this slide with your recorded video slide, Select the two slides in the left panel with Ctrl Enter or Shift Enter, then right click and select Merge Slides. The slides are merged in the sequence that they appeared in the panel on the left. Cursor effects will only appear in the recorded video if this Render Cursor option was selected. The recorded video with all the annotations, animations, titles and more can now be exported to a video file. Go to export in the top menu bar and select video. A comprehensive user manual is available from the help menu to assist you further.